Namaste and Jajalapa. The voice you are listening right now is the presentation of Anak Media for Nepal Bhasa Academy, Neva FM 106.6 MHz Radio. I am Kim Natsitola, an English teacher and the head teacher of Adina Secondary School, Chobar Kirtipur. Today, I am speaking on this radio education program conducted by Kirtipur Municipality. I am here to facilitate the teaching and learning of Class 10 English. This program is broadcast every Monday at 8.30 a.m. I will be together with you for about 30 minutes. Dear students, <coughs> last Monday <coughs> we finished Unit 3 and today's turn is Unit 4 which is on page number 34 in your book. Page number 34. So please open your book. Please open your book on page number 34. <coughs> and here you can see some pictures, especially four pictures uh, related to the lesson. And there is one more warm up exercise before we begin the lesson and number B study time and now we are going to learn a memoir of my visit to France. The title of the essay is <coughs> Memoirs of my visit to France and the writer of this memoir or essay is Professor Dr. Govindaraj Bhatrai. Professor Dr. Govindaraj Bhatrai was the professor of Tribun University, Kirtipur. And he had visited France for his <coughs> academic report and during his visit in France, he visited many places of France and he recorded his experiences. So his personal experiences, recorded experiences, his reminiscence is described in the lesson. So in the beginning, there you can see one, two, three, four, some warm up question and the answers you can provide, you can give from scanning the lesson. So question number one, as you see, names of the plants mentioned in the memoirs. So without, read without reading the text, or the memoirs, we cannot answer this. Names of the museums the author visited. Number three, names of the places the author visited in France. Number four, Lansing Bangdel's literary works. So you have to write <clears throat> some correct answers here. So I will help you before starting the lesson. So names of the plants mentioned in the memoirs are name of the plants are F I R for P I N E pine W A L N U T walnut J U N I P E R juniper and Y E W U let me repeat again. Names of the plants mentioned in the text are for pine, walnut, juniper, and yew. Five plants. And number two. Name 
names of the museums the author visited the author has visited many museums in france and the <coughs> major museums were to they are r o d i n apostrophe s rodins and m o n e t apostrophe s monets rodin museum and monet museum number 3 names of the places the author visited in france names of the places some places are number 3 <coughs> metro station metro station museums pomidio center pomidio center number 4 number 4 lion singh bangdel's literary works he had many literary works and his major literary works have been mentioned in the text are muluk bahira ma muluk bahira ma second one spain ko samjhana ma spain ko samjhana ma and third one rome ko kaada ra paris ko phul rome ko kaada ra paris ko phul so we completed the first exercise warm up exercise number b <coughs> once again answers are uh, names of the plants five plants fir pine walnut juniper yew names of the museums the author visited rodins and monets names of the places he visited metro station museums pomidio center number 4 lion singh bangdel's literary works are muluk bairamo spain ko samjhana ma rome ko kaada ra paris ko phul dear students <coughs> this is a long lesson because this is a memoir and in the book also you can see on page number 35 36 37 uh three 1 2 3 pages long essay or memoir and many difficult words complex words are also here so you have to learn these new vocabs as well through this text and now see the title of the <coughs> essay or memoirs m e m o i r s memoirs memoirs is the recorded experiences personal experiences or this is a kind of autobiography of my visit to france and who is saying this my visit and the person is the author is the writer is professor dr govindaraj batrai now let's begin the text and i will help you to describe or to explain some meanings or uh the sentences wherever you feel difficulty the lesson starts like this this morning the city of paris looks slightly fuming and this morning is the writers visiting france and that particular date the city of paris as you see name of the country france and the capital city paris so the city of paris paris looks slightly fuming and slightly not heavily a little bit and fuming is filled with steam or filled with vapor this means that the weather that morning was not very clear the sky is overcast the sky is overcast means 
पीपल कांट सी द ब्लू स्काई दिस मीन्स द स्काई इज कवर्ड विथ क्लाउड सो द स्काई इज ओवर कास्ट मीन्स द स्काई लुक्स क्लाउडी एंड इट इज ड्रिजलिंग टू एंड ड्रिजलिंग द वर्ड इज रिलेटेड टू वेदर कंडीशन एंड ड्रिजलिंग इज लाइट रेनफॉल सो इट इज ड्रिजलिंग टू सो नॉट हेबी रेनफॉल बट अ स्मॉल रेनफॉल लाइट रेनफॉल इज टेकिंग प्लेस बट इट डज नो हम टू मी इट डज नो हम टू मी मीन्स दिस वेदर दिस शोर्ड ऑफ वेदर डज नॉट हम द राइटर मीन्स ही कैन रीच हिज टारगेट और डेस्टिनेशन एंड द वेदर कैन नॉट प्रिवेंट हिम I have decided to go out for a visit or an observation tour. <coughs> so he he has already decided to go out from his residential area for a visit or an observation tour or excursion tour. I had asked Nirmal bhai for a list of museums in the vicinity of paris yesterday here the writer talks about one nepali name nirmal bhai and by relation it is the writer's bhai and this shows that uh, the person nirmal is already living in paris and he knows a lot of things about paris so nirmal bhai will help mr gobind raj bhatrai the writer for visit of different places and museums in the vicinity means in the surrounding area or <coughs> surrounding area of paris yesterday because he had asked so what are the important places to visit give me the names of museum and important places and i will follow you he might have asked so he brought me some brochures with the names and addresses and street maps of paris museums in the evening this shows that nirmal bhai really helped the author or writer because he brought some brochures pamphlets with the names and the addresses and the street maps of paris museums in the evening means yesterday evening now the writer has got some brochures and names and address and he has also got street map of paris city and the important museums around paris within and around paris paris has <coughs> more museums than temples and gods in kathmandu so dear students you know that Kathmandu is the city of temples people also say this Kathmandu is the city of temples this means there are lots and lots of temples in Kathmandu city and many temples are in Kathmandu similarly more museums than temples and gods in Kathmandu it shows that the number of gods and temples in kathmandu is less than the number of museums in paris it shows that paris is full of museums so there are lots and lots of innumerable museums in the city of paris i am new to paris 
I am new to Paris means the writer says because it was his first visit. So he is new to Paris, staying here for only one week. And the duration for his stay in the city of Paris is just one week. Maybe his visa says so. And hope these maps and brochures will show me Paris metro zones. Paris metro zones like our metropolitan cities, Kathmandu, Lalitpur, Paris metro zones and guide me some museums today. Last week, Nirmal Bhai showed me Pompidou Center. And last week, according to the writer, Nirmal Bhai had helped him to show one uh, center and the name of the center is Pompidou Center. And Pompidou Center is a very complex building of high-tech structures. And in the sense of high-tech structures, the building is, the complex building is very, very large, spacious, and it is made or it was built with high technology and large building with high technology and several kinds of services are provided from here. So Mr. Bhattrai, the author, had visited this Pompidou Center with the help of Nirmal Bhai. This visit has emboldened me to explore further. And emboldened, E-M-B-O-L-D-E-N-E-D, -E -E emboldened me means, this visit has emboldened me means, gave me strength, gave me power to explore, to search some more places further. I guess I can cover a maximum of two museums today. This is writer's expectation. I guess, I think, I can cover a maximum of two museums today. And one day, uh, two museums, visit of two museums is possible. It means just giving a cursory glance. Cursory glance m means very hasty glance not in details, just uh, looking and going ahead, not in detail. This is my plan. They say, Sijan is quite far away. C-E-Z-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E. Sijan is quite far away. And this is also, dear students, Sijan is also name of the museum. And this museum, Sijan, is after the name of Paul Sijan. And Paul Sijan was the great artist of France. And he was known as post-impressionist painter or artist. So, the writer wants to visit Museum Sijan, but it is quite far away from his place. Paul Sijan, the most impressionist painter, may be in the outskirts or outside area of the city and very far. I cannot visit him all alone. I cannot visit him all alone, means without the help of anyone, he can't go to that place. And cannot cover two museums in a day. So I chose to visit a museum nearby in the heart of the city. In the heart of the city means in the downtown area of the Paris metro zone and 
this is because of time he cannot go very far and his target is to visit two museums in a day likewise b r a q u e brack brack first museum we talked about sizan and after the name the artist or painter paul sizan and the second museum mentioned here is b r a q u e brack is far sizan is quite far and brack is also far and the third museum he talks about is du champ and du champ is farther away it is still farther or farther from his living place so i have decided the writer says gobind raj bhatrai says i have decided as per nirmal's suggestion to start with rodins so the fourth museum name rodins and following nirmal's nirmal bhai suggestion he wants to visit rodins museum and maybe i will go to monet's next if he has some more time left after visiting museum rodin then he will go to visit another museum that is monets so the first museum he wants to go to rodins so some <coughs> names of the museums talked in this paragraph sizan museum after the name of paul sizan and second museum brack and third museum du champ and the fourth museum rodins and the fifth one is monets and finally he has decided to go to the rodins museum first people know people know i am never a painter nor a sculptor nor a connoisseur of art or a professional but then the world knows that my interest in the lives of great artists and their lasting works is growing deeper dear students let's see here people know i am never a painter the writer is saying the writer is not a painter simply you can understand the writer is mr gobindaraj bhatra is not a painter he is not a sculptor and a sculptor is also an artist and who carves the stone wood and makes different kinds of figures like the figures of our gods and goddesses we can see in the temples sculpture so mr batrai is neither a painter nor a sculptor and one thing more he is not a connoisseur of art first time you can see a very difficult word here so underline dear students c o n n o i s s e u r and the correct pronunciation of this word is connoisseur connoisseur of art and connoisseur is an expert connoisseur is a talented person in a field so the writer is no the writer is a professor the writer is a teacher and he is not a painter he is not a sculptor and he is not an expert of art and he is just a amateur a m e t e u r amateur or having a lot of interest and enthusiasm in the study of art he is not a professional artist but then 
the world knows that my interest in the lives of great art artists and their lasting works is growing deeper this shows that the writer or the author mr govindaraj bhatrai is very very willing very very interested to learn about art so we can say mr bhatrai or the author is just the learner he has interest to learn about art but he is not a painter he is not a sculptor he is not a connoisseur he is not a professional just a amateur learner so wherever i go i prefer to visit art museums first of all this means the writer has already visited many countries in the world and wherever he reached wherever he went and during his stay time he visited museums first before going to any other artificials or other natural places he visited museums and he says his experience in russia r u s s i a not russia this is russia in russia in greece in england in america so this means these are the names of the countries the writer had already visited before his france visit so he had already visited russia greece england and america in those countries also russia greece england and america he visited the art museums and i did so i move merely a dilettante students be cautious here again d i l e t t a n t e dilettante so this is a again a new word for you like connoisseur expert talent and here dilettant i move merely a uh, dilettant dilettante however so having a lot of interest and enthusiasm to learn something dilettante however we the we the deep sense of awe or means fear surprise and reverence is respect i have no words i have no words to express how i felt upon seeing mona lisa in louvre l o u v r e louvre yesterday seeing mona lisa another painting mona lisa in louvre yesterday i must say why my interest in this is growing gradually in this way the writer is also surprised why his interest is going deeper and deeper in in especially arts two decades ago i was interested in academy project title introduction to the literary trends and movements in which i had to present a glimpse of literary trends and movements of the world most literary movements developed from the western movements of art and philosophy they are entrenched formally therefore i studied and wrote briefly on a new trends of art such as impressionism impressionism expressionism symbolism cubism dadaism surrealism and their relationships with literature i had used secondary sources to write about them later on i visited the modern tate of london to write on post modernism Dear, dear students our assigned time is almost over 
Thank you for your participation and pessimistic, not, not being pessimistic, being optimistic and learning new thing from this FM program. So I will visit you next Monday. Thank you very much.